Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today, people, I would like to preview the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta. If you guys have not played the beta yet, make sure you download it right now because it's going to be a second one coming up over the next weekend. So, download it right now, test that out yourselves, and you'll see what I'm talking about on today's review. So first things first that I want to start off with will be the graphics upgrade. Man, that's actually quite impacting. To be honest, I never thought they would upgrade into graphics, but it looks pretty smooth. It looks amazing. It looks more realistic. I feel like they really, really tried their hard to really make this game look good and all that stuff. Even the sound effects, they sound amazing overall. I think they did a hell of a job. So the graphics department and the sound department, you guys deserve a gold medal because god damn it, I was really impressed. Even on the 2v2 beta, it was just just totally amazing so uh going into the next thing which will be the weapon selection it is quite of a good selection but i feel like there needs to be more the sniper section i think there's only three snipers i think there should be like one more extra at least four you know um never go under three <laughs> so uh the sniper selection is a letdown but the rest of the weapon selections like the assault rifles smgs the lmgs there's also marksman rifles so uh it will be amazing to test out all these weapons there's still a lot to learn because if you guys did not know every time you level up your weapon you will be level, you will be getting uh you know attachments along the way and you cannot choose what attachments to unlock so you can you have to level up your weapon to unlock those special attachments and make your weapon feel however you want it to feel it does have a lot of selection so you can make your weapon look like an smg or an assault rifle it's an amazing customization system so i do like the the attachments that the weapons have this year there's a lot of freedom and uh, compared to black ops 4 you know black ops 4 was very limited on the attachments per gun i don't know why they did that but this year there is more selection and more choice on how you want to make your weapon feel you know there's long range short range medium range working all around you know you can make it however you want to feel so that's an amazing improvement from last year's game and uh, i want to give that one an a you know pretty much a passable grade um amazing stuff e, uh, call of duty i was about to say ea but i know they wouldn't do it for battlefield because right now they're actually lacking on content but anyways um but yeah you know good weapon selection well done but I feel like there's going to be more along the way. More than likely, they're going to be coming in battle passes or if not DLC or whatever. Because I know it's going to be loot boxes also being included in the game since there were some few leaks here and there. So uh, we are expecting a lot of loot boxes to come in. But hopefully they're not grindy as hell. I'm hopeful. I am very hopeful. It is kind of like Call of Duty World War 2, if not like Black Ops 4 with the Battle Pass. So, because uh, the Battle Pass did actually give me a lot of free stuff, costumes, you know, weapons and all that stuff. I kind of did enjoy that selection because it was like a free season pass for me. But the thing is, it was super grinding on Season 1. Season 1 was super grindy because they want to make people spend money and then they fixed it after a while. So, um, it wasn't that big of a deal after, after a while and uh, it just didn't bother me at all. It was it was fun, but uh, I'm hoping it's not super grindy. If they're gonna make it like that, then you know, hopefully they don't make it super grindy. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna be adding new weapons along the year. Like they said, it is free DLC. So uh, you know, but the sad thing is they might include it just in loot boxes. You know how Activision is, loot box crazy and and all that stuff. They're high on loot boxes over there. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about will be the maps. The map selection was uh, barely passable, to be honest. Uh, some of them were, are some of the moments in the maps are kind of impressive, but not as much. I'll tell you, like maybe like 70% of the time, 17% of the time is like kind of like yeah, you know, you did get in one little section, but the rest of the map is just horrendous. Like it's just horrendous, man. So um, I don't know, man. The map selection on the beta were not that good. They were not impressive. The tiniest map, which I hate the most, with the one with the car go everywhere you can like uh, jump over to the roof that one was annoying as hell because uh, one of the spawn points actually both spawn points be, uh, start behind a wall and you can easily just get spawn trap easily too freaking easy and it's annoying it really pissed me off along the way especially on the first two days of the release for the open beta um you know you were just stuck with this playlist of the quick play and you had to play team deathmatch everybody was camping in that one little building in the center and it was just total annoyance never again will i ever play team deathmatch because of that one freaking map so um yeah i'll just stick with domination and domination actually is a lot better than that map but you know that map is just a campus too so um the maps i'm telling you it's it's barely passable but i don't know it's just there for me it's just there they're not as impressive as previous call of duties to be honest i'm hopeful for the full release to actually have better maps and hopefully they are impressive and exciting to play in so anyways the maps i mean i gave them like a c minus not impressive barely passable 
Uh, the next thing I would like to talk about will be the specialist characters. They have no, no purpose at all. <laughs> what the, what are they even supposed to do? Why is this special? Why are they even specialists? I don't even know. They don't have any special skills. They don't have anything involving into like changing the game, the way you play or anything. They don't have any any kind of specialty. It's like they they just they just scrap these characters on the last minute. I feel like they're useless. So uh, it's a useless feature. To be honest, it's just a skin for your character. I'm pretty sure that's how they're gonna make their extra money by selling cosmetic to you guys. If you wanna you know grind for like supply drops, or if not, they're gonna make a pa battle pass, which makes that one girl or that one guy over there. Uh, Put him like in a freaking tank top or something, looking like an all street. Pretty sure that's what they're for. Just to make extra money on the side for Activision. So they serve no purpose whatsoever. None of them look cool, except for that one guy with a rag on his head. But that's about it. I uh, really don't see no purpose on really making a big deal about these specialists. They're just there. I guess they're just for decoration. So uh, that's, that's what I think about the specialist. Uh, the perk system is still... I think it's good. I think I'm not going to lie. It's good. You can choose one perk per section, which is good. Nothing's OP. Um, you know, the ghost is there also. It, it works its purpose. It's not like Black Ops 4 where you have to constantly be sprinting in order for you not to be caught by the spy plane. This time you can just stand around and pretty much not get caught by the spy plane with the ghost perk so it's a major improvement on that section the the one thing that really bothered me the most is that there's no dead silence instead the dead silence is on that special equipment where the section uh that section is with the uh where you drop the ammo pack and you know uh the the, the little armor uh shield thing you know it's on that section so that means it's a temporary use which is complete bs i think that one should be a freaking perk because people are literally abusing the camping in this game and then with people having good headsets that can hear your footsteps from a mile away i mean it's just total bullshit so i don't want none of that and i want and i just want the dead silence to be there so i can use it constantly on a constant basis but instead we have it as a special ability I don't even know why. It's supposed to be a perk, like it's always been. Uh, the next thing that bothered me the most will be the minimap. Of course, the first two days of the beta, which was uh, if you pre-ordered the game, you have early access, and I did play the early access version. And I'm telling you, no minimap means a hell of a lot of problems. It just caters the campers by a mile, man. Uh, it really bothered me a lot. I don't know why they did that. Whoever decided to make that kind of decision in the development team, this should be fired at this point. Because I'm not going to be lightly with this whole situation. Whoever made it, whoever tried to break the tradition, you should be fired. It's just a complete BS to be taken away the minimap. And now they put the minimap back on the actual open beta over the weekend. But the problem is that every time the enemy shoots, they won't appear in the minimap. It's a broken freaking feature. I can't believe they have it like this, bruh. Don't mess with tradition. This is how you kill a game. Just look at Call of Duty Ghosts. You guys broke over their tradition with the spy plane and look what happened. The game became crap. So, <laughs> if you don't want to go down that path, return the minimap to its standard version. <sighs> so anyways, um, I think that's all to talk about really. Uh, the weapon mechanics are amazing. The leaning system is alright, I guess. I mean, it, I guess it's just a good new feature. Uh, the sliding mechanic is okay-ish. Um, not as impressive as in Black Ops 4, but I understand. They want to make it more realistic, the realistic feeling. So the sliding is not too too fast. It's just there, I guess. But it's it's alright. It's alright. I'm not going to complain about that one. It's a 50-50 feeling. Um, what's another mechanic that happened in the game? Uh, that's about it, pretty much. So um, the kill, oh yeah, the kill streaks. The kill streaks—they're a good selection this year. The AC-130 is back. Uh, the chopper gunner, man. Oh man, this is a lot of good selections this this year with the freaking kill streaks, man. Even the AGR is back, or the the Wally robot, or whatever. I call it the Wally robot. So if you guys don't know what I mean, search it up yourselves, <laughs> or just look at one of my previous live streams where I'm using some of the kill streaks. But like uh, the kill streaks are impressive. They're pretty good. I just wish they would have returned the specialist kill streaks, if not the support kill streak versions of the kill streak you know like uh, like in modern warfare 3 they had like three different styles uh support assault and the specialist kill streaks they should have done it like that but no i guess not but it's still good it's, a, it's all right at least they're returning to tradition of modern warfare 2 kind of so um that's it guys that's the my review and uh the total final score will be seven out of ten even though it is impressive on the graphics department, the sound department, and all that stuff, the weapon selection, the killstreak selection, uh, it's still 
quite a little bit of a letdown. It's not it's not as as um, like wow, you know, this game is gonna last forever. It's because of the mini map. For me, that bothered me the most. It caters to campers. I don't know why they're doing this, but it's really bothering me a lot. So that brought the score down even lower for breaking tradition. Whoever decided that decision, that developer should be freaking fired. Never mess with tradition. So the final score is 7 out of 10. Will I recommend it to buy on day one? Yes, because there's going to be a lot of modes available. 30 versus 30, 10 versus 10, 20 versus 20, uh, 6 versus 6, regular standard modes. You know, it's a lot of things to play on this game. It's amazing. The feel of the game is good and all that. But like I tell you, the only thing that's really bothering me the, bothering me the most is the minimap. That's about it. Would I recommend it on day one? Yes, because there's a lot of things to do in this game. So that's all I wanted to talk about today, guys. And uh, if you guys got any questions, any moans, groans, or complaints, leave it in the comment section and I'll read it later. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Modern Warfare.